Hello! With homeschooling on so many people's minds right now, including ours, we thought it would be fun to set up doll school. And so many of our dolls have skills that they can use to help teach the other dolls, including Luciana here, who is totally into science, space, and technology. So we thought it would be fun to start setting up a science lab for her to help share her knowledge with the other dolls. And we have so many fun things to show you in this video, including how you can make your own table just like this that we're going to use to set up a science center. And it's super cheap and super easy. So stay tuned for the end of the video for that. In addition to the table, we have been collecting some awesome supplies for not only Luciana, but the other dolls. From My Life as outfits and kits to this American Girl telescope set that we got on their final sale. It was a super bargain. So first things first, how about we try on some outfits and let's get Luciana out of her Christmas sweater. I know, we're way behind. And try on the two My Life As NASA outfits that we found. This one is a little bit older. This one we just found recently before everything went crazy. So let's try on the newest one first. And there she is. This outfit is really cute. This little short outfit. It's three pieces and I thought it might look good on our boy dolls, which I still think it would. But it also looks really cute on the girl dolls. So first off, we have this little jacket here that has a real working zipper. The t-shirt has the iron-on NASA symbol and it velcros in the back. So it's really easy to get on and it doesn't wreck your doll's hair. Here are the shorts and they have the elastic waist. They have the little button detail and then they have faux stitching at the fly and at the pockets. And they're just plain in the back there. No pocket detailing. We just paired the outfit with the boots that she came in with her original meat outfit and it looks like it goes together so well. So there she is in outfit number one, the most recent one that we got from Walmart. Now let's try her in this outfit, which is the older version from my life that we picked up. And let's do it in a snap. Well, how about this one? I really, really like this one. I don't know. I think I may like this one even better because I love the cosmic colors on this ruffled skirt. It reminds me of her meat dress. And I really want you to see the detailing on this top. Take a look at this. Let me take the jacket off so you can see. It is not your basic t-shirt. It is this adorable tank top. So cute. And it velcros in the back, just like the rest of them. But I like the fact that it's different. Now here is the jacket. It has the working zipper. It has kind of the silver vermeil, but it's stretchy. See that? So it also goes with her boots, and look at this adorable star we put in her hair. That was just something extra that we had, but we thought it looked super cute. And of course, it goes with the whole NASA theme. So let's put her jacket back on, and then I want to show you Noah in the other outfit. There you can see the two outfits side by side. Doesn't this one look good on Noah too? I love the fact that you have an outfit that could go for your boy doll or your girl doll. And I love all the mix and match opportunities. You've got the shorts, the skirt, the tank, the t-shirt, and then the two jackets. And you can mix and match them all up and they all look great. So now we've got the clothes. Our table's looking kind of bare. So let's start opening our science accessories. So we're gonna start with the science fair set from American Girl. So first up, we have our board for our science fair. It's our display board that gives all kinds of interesting facts and it has working dials here. You can turn, read the facts and find out if it's true or is it false. And then over here we have the phases of the moon so you can turn and see 
all the different phases of the moon, which of course mine is absolutely the full moon right there. I always get a little sad when I start to see the moon disappear, but I know that it'll go all the way around and it'll come right back. So, I do like the full moon. I love looking at the stars in the sky. And it has different facts in there. And then it includes this sticker sheet so you can put them on your board and study the solar system. And each one has facts with it that go with it. Very, very cool. And then you can write which doll at the time is entering her science fair board down here. And it can be a dry erase. Use a dry erase marker and then you can wipe it off for the next science fair. So we can put this right up here like so. This is really cute here. Look, it comes with your own little satin ribbon for first place in the science fair. So you can put your ribbon right up there on your display board to represent all the hard work that your doll did. And then this right here this was my favorite part of the whole set. It's a working telescope and it has expandable legs to get to the height that you need, whether you want it short for a tabletop or taller. And then here are actual slides. Can you see those? That can go onto your telescope. So then when you look through it, you can spot different things within the galaxy. Let's see, put it against white. Maybe you can see it just a little bit better. Aren't those super neat? So you can look through your telescope as is, or you can take your slide and put it down in there like that, and then you can look through it. Can you see that a little bit? That's cool. Let's see if we could try a different one that maybe it'll show up better. Oh, looky there. So there's the planet. Now, I know you guys can't see it as well as you could if you were right looking through it, but that is so neat. So we'll put that right over here. Now, this isn't necessarily space, but it is definitely science. This is the My Life As Biology Playset. And it says you can really see through the microscope. The microscope lights up and look down here. You have the example of the interior of the human body with rib cage, lungs, and liver. And they're removable and then you can put them back in. So it says. So let's get it out and see. So first off, we have this model of the cavity of the human body. So down here, of course, are your intestines, and then you have your heart, and then you have your liver, which you can put in, let's see, this way. And did you know that your liver is the second largest organ in your body next to the human skin? That is amazing. And then you have your lungs and see it has a little bitty hole right here so it can go in here. And your lungs are super important because without breath, we don't survive, do we? And then after you put in the lungs, then you have the ever important rib cage, which protects so many of our important organs. So then you can use this in your science lab as the doctor who's studying the human body or learning about how your body actually miraculously works. So we can put that over here like that. That is super cool. Then, here it is. Here is the working microscope. Now watch. See when I press through that button, how it lights up? And let's see if you guys can see. Look at that. Isn't that super neat? Such detail. 
and they provided five different slides that can go into your microscope so you can look like you're studying all different kinds of things about either the human body or germs or cool things like insect wings. So you put them on your microscope like that, line it up, and then let's see if you guys can see, maybe not. But when you look down in there, you can kind of get a little bit, can you see me moving that around in there? Yeah, so there it is. So you can actually look through there and kind of see and pretend to find out all kinds of wonderful things. So let's set our microscope up like that. Now, for the slides, it comes with a slide box to protect them so you can put them in there for later use. Now, I absolutely love this. This reminds me of the chemistry set that my brother and I used to play with. Oh, what a fit. There, we'll put it down there. We used to play with it out in our garage and we actually had a workbench that we pretended was our lab table. And, whoop, back in you go. And it had slides and we would make up some of our own slides too to study under the microscope. Now, it bends this way, so we're just gonna set it up there like that. And super cool, as your dolls are making all their wonderful discoveries, they can write it down with the pencil, and it even has the little eraser on top. Pretend, of course. This is one of my favorite sets from My Life As, at least for now. And then finally, we also found to go with all of the science things, a science themed backpack from My Life As. So check this out. It has the one strap to go over the shoulder and then it unzips. They've got it stuffed with tissue, but you can put all of your doll's books and supplies. It has a front pocket and then zip it up and they're ready to go. So. What do you think so far of our start for homeschool and science class? And if you are wanting to build your own table just like ours, it's super easy to do. And we're gonna use this table not only for science, but we're gonna use it in our kitchen and all different kinds of places. It's kind of whatever you need extra space for. So now let's show you exactly how to make your own. I wanted to share with you this quick and easy craft for a table or a counter for your dolls. It's super inexpensive. So what we have done is we went to the Dollar Tree and we picked up one of these like cabinet expanders that you go in your cabinets for extra canned goods to give you like an extra shelf in there. And then we have foam core board that we also got from the Dollar Tree that we've been using for different projects. So what we did is we laid down our cabinet expander, whatever you want to call it, on a piece of foam board and we cut it out using an exacto knife so depending on your age make sure that if you're if you're young you have parental supervision and we left an edge all the way around like so and then we filed our sides down using like just an emery board to get the rough rough pieces off and as you can see here we started finishing the edges with some recycled paperboard that we cut into little bitty strips using a paper cutter. And then we have started gluing them, hot gluing them onto the sides like this and wrapping around the corner and then we'll take the next piece and we hot glue it on to give it kind of a nice finished edge. So you just take your hot glue like this all along the edge then take your paperboard line it up making sure to get all those extra little stringy hot glue pieces off and then you can fold this part over and then just snip it off like that and then hot glue this piece down and then put your finished piece on so after you're done 
there's your edges all complete. Now you don't have to finish your edges. We just kind of wanted to, to give it an extra finished detail. And then there's a table all ready for whatever you can imagine for your dolls for under $2. And see, there's our table. What can you imagine doing with your own? And out of what we showed you today, what was your favorite? Was it the clothes? Was it the American Girl Science Fair set? Or how about the My Life As Biology set? And if you enjoyed today's video, we hope that you'll give us a great big thumbs up. And we have the most amazing science set that we're going to show you in a later video. So subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Well, that's our collection for now. Until next time.